Hi everyone, thanks for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing these videos. I'm very thankful from my bottom of heart. Okay. And uh, we can say uh, this is an effort which you are applauding and gradually we are putting more and more videos in this direction. So chemical equilibrium practice problem. I'm bringing up this first question. In a study of a reaction, 2a plus 2b gives 3c plus d. So let's write 2a plus 2b gives 3c plus d. Yani 2a plus 2b is 3c plus d. Here a or b mixed in a vessel at t degree Celsius. Temperature is t degree Celsius. The initial concentration of a is twice the initial concentration of b. Yani jitni bhi hum concentration b ki assume karna chahe. Let's say I b ko bola ki main pe, let's say a assume karna chahta hu. So the initial concentration of a is twice that initial concentration of B. So A should be how much? 2A. At time T equals 0. As per the demand of question, assumption is 2A is the concentration of A, which is double the concentration of B. After equilibrium is reached, so initially it is 0, 0. And after equilibrium is reached, as in T equals T equilibrium, the concentration of C is three times the concentration of B. So remember, you will write first balance equation. So 2A minus 2X, we will say. Because loss of 2 is loss of 2 here. So if 2 goes here, so then 2 should go here. Hence, if 2x goes here, 2x should go here. How much of C will form? It will form 3x. And how much of D we can expect? It will form x. Now we will read this line again. Concentration of C is 3 times the concentration of B. So once you read this line, what is the meaning of it? Concentration of C when at equilibrium is three times the concentration of B at equilibrium, right? So if you use this uh, logic, can we say three times X is equal to three times B, B is how much? Just read, this is three X and this is A minus two X. So you can say A minus two X. I think it's much better so go. So this becomes three A minus six X is three X. So how much it gives? It gives us nine X is equal to three A or x is equal to a by 3. So once you know x is a by 3, calculate the equilibrium constant. That will not be difficult for us. What is the equilibrium constant? So kc is equal to 3x raised to power 3 into x raised to power 1 divided by 2a minus 2x raised to power 2 and this is a minus 2x raised to power so as we know, x is a by 3. If you put this data, x is a by 3, what will happen? So can I say a cube into a will be there? And below also it will be a part will get cancelled. So if you have problem, let's solve it in detail. Let's push this question for the later time. And let's do it in detail. So we have this calculation with us. Now let's try to put back the values. Let's see how it come up. So see, this 3x is how much? 3x is equal to a. Okay, great. And what is x? x is a by 3. How much is a minus 2x? a minus 2x is a minus 2a by 3, which is a by 3. And what about 2a minus 2a by 3? So 2a minus 2a by 3 is 6a minus uh, 2a by 3, that is 4a by 3. I think we can put all the values. So the result that we have is a cube into a by 3 whole cube, whole, sorry, a by 3 power 1 divided by 2a minus 2x is how much? 4a by 3. So 4a by 3 raised to power 2 into a minus 2x is how much? a by 3 raised to power 2. So if you see all a will get cancelled, it will become 1 divided by 3. 4 square is equal to 16. 3 square will become 9. So it goes up and this 3 square also goes up. right? So if you observe carefully, it becomes 27 divided by 16 and this we can keep as our answer. This is the right answer. I hope you understood this whole question. So what is the approach of such question is very clear. Whatever they are telling, we are just doing it and logically we are getting the answer. Question number two in the same sequence is, is starting with one mole of oxygen and two mole of sulfur dioxide. So first let's write down the statement of question. One mole of O2 and two moles of SO2. The equilibrium for the formation of SO3 was established at a certain temperature. Okay, great. So you will write SO2 plus O2 gives SO3 
and if you write balanced equation 2SO2 and 1 mole of water gives 2SO3 right and V is the volume of the vessel and 2x is the number of moles of SO3 present now when they are present they are present at equilibrium so this number is given as 2x and initial moles which are given 1 mole and 2 moles of SO2 and this so 1 mole of this and 2 moles of SO2 is given this was 0 this is t equals 0 and this is t equals t equilibrium so definitely this is 2x look at this this is 2x so how much is the loss of O2 here it should be 1 minus x yes or no loss should be x why because if x will go this will form 2x because 1 goes this will form double so what should be the number that I should mention here it should be 2 minus 2x so these are the moles that we can write for equilibrium condition but the volume of vessel is given V and we know moles divided by volume is called molar concentration it is known as molar concentration so 2 minus 2x divided by V is molar concentration of SO2 1 minus x divided by V is molar concentration of O2 2x divided by V is molar concentration of SO3 so the question is find out Kc and we know that the Kc is equal to concentration of SO3 whole square divided by SO2 whole square into O2 raised to power 1 if you put back the numbers it would be 2x divided by V whole square divided by 2 minus 2x upon we just put all the values properly without any mistake in calculation Do you remember you have to avoid all kind of calculational mistake possibility so can we say in this discussion this v square this v square cancel okay now what will happen can I say 2x whole square is basically 4x square and if you write it clearly then let me say this is 4x square and below also if you see if I take 2 outside so 2 square 1 minus x whole square it is and this is 1 minus x and v is going up so if you see the whole detail this is 4 and this is also 4 because 2 square is 4 so you have x square with you and you have v upon 1 minus x whole cube so if you see options any option of this type could be considered as correct option so which option you would mark we will say x square v divided by 1 minus x whole cube so this is the option number one which is correct answer all other options are not correct and I hope you understood the question what we have done in this question that should be very very clear and the balance equation the role of that equation everything else should be proper so I think you can understand this question also so these are the question we practiced on KC thank you very much please keep liking subscribing sharing okay and commenting don't forget to push the bell thank you